سبحان الله الحمد لله لا إله إلا الله سبحان الله الحمد لله لا إله إلا الله سبحان الله الحمد لله I think so. Oh, oh my God. Subhanallah. Wow. Subhanallah. Guys, this is the first time I'm seeing the Dome of the Rock. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Subhanallah. It's all Al-Aqsa area. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah guys. It's 5 to 5 in the morning. Got here last night. Fajr time, very quiet. Take you guys and show you Mashal Aqsa of Fajr time, inshallah. <coughs> Subhanallah. Subhanallah guys <laughs> Allah Akbar Allah Akbar La ilaha illallah Anyone that comes here and prays two rakah with the niyyah, the intention of just praying two rakah in this masjid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the reward of complete forgiveness. Yeah, inshallah. So this is what we're trying to aim for, inshallah. Right? And please remember all those people that have been rejected, all those people that keep trying to come here and can't come. And most importantly, the ummah over here and around the world that are always trying to keep hold of Islam and this deen. Keep them in your du'as inshallah at all times, okay? We will meet here, every single person, for 10 minutes, I'll be waiting here for 10 minutes, right? We will wait together and we will go back to the hotel together. So now we will now have to come here and go back inshallah. This looks absolutely amazing. SubhanAllah. Guys, welcome to Al-Aqsa. Subhanallah, all praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.
So guys, this is Ghibli Masjid. The whole area is Al-Aqsa. The whole area is Al-Aqsa. This is Ghibli Mosque. It's absolutely amazing. SubhanAllah. I didn't record much inside because I didn't want to spoil my first time and I'm sure you guys will respect that. Alhamdulillah. And that's the, the golden dome or the dome of the rock. So all I want to say to you, every single one of you guys, is you need to come to Masjid Al-Aqsa. You have to come. I've only been here like a day, less than a day, just a morning basically. And wallahi, it's just, this is where our beloved Prophet Muhammad Wasallam prayed his Salah. He prayed Salah, he led Salah and the Prophets led, were behind him. The Prophet also led Salah for the Prophet. How amazing is that? They have to this place. Remember, this place is where Allah SWT showed the whole Ummah the speciality of the, our beloved Prophet He was the Imam of all Imams over here. The brothers and sisters over here. They will show you immense love. <laughs> Whoever asks for money exchange, there's one near the master's gate, the one I showed you yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh guys, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the video of the walking tour of Al-Aqsa. Guys, I lost my way to Masjid Al-Aqsa. Brother Hafiz is showing me the way, mashallah. Very kind of him. Mashallah. Inshallah. <laughs> this is the first time you come here, brother? First time, yeah. I come with a group, so I was a bit late for course. Uh -huh. oh, it's very cold here during night. Yeah, it's cold for the cold. We are winter now. Yes. Okay, and the, the first come all the first time you come Ahmad. in the Aqsa Mosque. Ahmad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. Yesterday, last night. Fajr, yeah, Fajr. Yeah. And Fajr? Yeah, I came from Fajr. You'll be here in Fajr? Yes, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Beautiful. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Allah's blessings here. Special. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So you born here? Yes. Not outside of the old city. How, how is it living here? Very difficult. Yes? To make money. Okay. okay, I'll see you in there, inshallah. Inshallah, here is the mosque. Yes, yeah. Jazakallah khair. Thank you. Jazakallah Ali. Assalamu alaikum. Subhanallah. I should know this because uh, Brother Ali from Bada Tours told me exactly where the mosque is. But I forgot. Brother shopkeeper said, hold on. I'm going for prayers. Let me take you. So nice, man. So very nice. Alhamdulillah. I'm going to be doing a walking tour after Asr Salah and it's going to be walking the whole area getting a historic tour and just a disclaimer Brother Ali from Ibadah Tours was saying that the facts or the information that is given of specific places is not 100% because over time earthquakes happened things got destroyed so they're going to be showing us things that have very strong significance but there's no there's no hundred percent for guarantee but it's all alaksa so be amazing to see sorry if i'm out of breath it takes about five minutes getting here walking i love it subhanallah it feels like i'm home it's like makkah medina when you go there you feel your souls at home this feels the same way like your souls at home subhanallah going for prayers it's funny because at each gate surrounding this compound is is really guards. So check my passport. He said, Asalaamu Alaikum to me. Check my passport. Always have your passport on you. 
very important. When they give you the visa, staple it yourself when you come to the hotel, to your passport inshallah. So much love for this place, you guys need to come. Every vlog I'm gonna say it until you get sick of me and say, bro, stop saying it. I'll stop saying it when you actually come to Masjid Al-Aqsa. Alhamdulillah. Masjid Qibli. Subhanallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Subhanallah, look how beautiful this place is, man. And we have a young vlogger here. Right, guys, this is the main man. No, no, no main man. Bro. Introduce yourself, man. This is the main place. Ali from Ibadah Tours. How you doing, man? I'm here with the Hajj vlogger. <laughs> no. What are we going to do now? Inshallah, we're going to go on a walking tour with Sheikh Saleh. Sheikh Saleh over here, the main man. He's going to take us on a walking tour. And we've got soldiers, my brothers, like Ahmed over here. So, uh, Inshallah. We'll be going together, walking, making everyone tired, exercising for all the curries we've been eating all right here and stuff. <laughs> we'll get rid of that inshallah. Are we ready about the toast? Yeah. Yep. Right. Okay, bismillah, come on, follow us. Did you look at the Hello. night? See the light of the moon? Did you look at the sun? Giving you warmth Did you look at the sky? Are you falling in love? It is from the Creator You can't get enough He is everywhere And He knows we stay Yes, He knows We're going to start our trip We're going to be our working trip Inshallah, we're going to be having where it could be Allah knows best again, but could be that this is from the time of Sulaiman. Allah knows best. We don't know what the exact building, but Allah knows best about this. Now, now there is no mihrab, there is no any mihrab Zakaria, no any mihrab Yahya, no any mihrab Isa, because we don't know where any of this is. You've got the world in your hands. He's the one who was thinking for love. As well known for us as Masjid Al Marwan. Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, 
he came to this area where this area was like a mountain. So he came and he did it one flat and he built Marwani Masjid where we are right now. Basically Marwani Masjid been built by Al Walid ibn Abdul Malik ibn Marwan and lately Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen they make it here for the Ba'atikifin where the Ba'atikifin stay in this section here. And this place used to be in the stub, as an stub where they used to tie all the horses when in this masjid. When Maryam alayhi salam, we also read the ayah in the Quran all the time. كُلَّمَا دَخَلَ زَكَرِيَّ عَلَيْهَا الْمِحْرَابِ وَجَدَ عِنْدَهَا رِزْقًا قَالَ يَا مَرْيَمْ أَنَّ لَكِ هَذَا قَالَتْ هُوَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ حِينَهَا دَعَى زَكَرِيَّ رَبَّهِ فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهِ That Zakariya alayhi salam, when he used to visit Maryam alayhi salam, he used to see food with her in the winter, in the summer, in the summer, in the winter. So he asked her, Ya Maryam, anna laki hada from where that you? She responded to him from Allah azza wa jal. Did Zakariya ask his Lord for a child? And Allah accepted his dua, and he gave him a Yahya, and Yahya was as a Nabi. Is where you cry, he's the one who gives everything. He'll never leave you behind. He's the one that always made things better uh, And he's the one that always lives forever He's everywhere He knows we stay Yes, he knows Yes, he knows You've got the world in your hands You've got to thank him for which is well known as Babu Rahmah. Kabristan Babu Rahmah, this is where most of the local people, they use this kubur here. So inshallah, we will do our salam. Assalamu alaykum, ahla diyar al-mu'minun, antum as-sabikun, wa nahnu inshallah bikum lalahikun. This is the dua that our Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teach us when we go through the Kabristans. Basically, most of the local people, they use this Babu Rahmah Kabristans. But here, there is something different than anywhere else in Jerusalem. Here, there is the two Sahaba grave, Ridwanullahi alayhim, of Shaddad ibn Aws and Ubada ibn Samit, radiyallahu anhum, Sahabat, Sahabat Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As you see right here, here, now there is Tariq al-Marhum al-Jaleel, Ubada ibn Samit, radiyallahu anhu, that to wufiya. And this is the cover of Ubada ibn Samit radiyallahu anhu and right there is Shaddad ibn Aws radiyallahu anhu so insha'Allah we're going to be working together where we're going to be going and see insha'Allah This is basically Dome of the Rook, built by Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. And basically, Abdul Malik ibn Marwan built Dome of the Rook for a reason. And according to our ulama, that the reason was to do a mark for Masjid al-Aqsa. To do a mark for Masjid al-Aqsa, where people they will look from very far. When we're going to go after tomorrow to, uh, to Jabal Mukabbir, when we're going to be going to Mount of Olives, as soon we're gonna look towards this place, as soon we're gonna look, we will see Dome of the Rook. And also this is the place where our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he reached Sidratul Muntaha, 
where he spoke with Allah Azza wa Jal without a hijab. Allah. And this is the place where our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after finishing his Salah, he came here and he took his Mi'raj. And basically the Mi'raj we took place from Dome of the Rock according to our Ulama. We don't know that if it was from inside or it was from all side. But anyway, the Mi'raj being took place from when in the Dome of the Rock area. And as you see now here, all that gold sent by King Hussein, the father of King Abdullah right now. And there is a moon, I think they took it away now to fix it or something. That moon in Tug was sent by the Turkish government. By the Turkish government, that moon being sent. And basically this is the dome where we call it Qubbat al -Sahra. It's very important whenever you do your prayers, and there's two jama'at, you do one here and one down, try to pray at the bottom one. And if you want to come and pray your nafil, your sunnah, your witr, you can come and pray it here. But when there is any actual jama'at, try to pray at the bottom one, inshallah. Now we're not going to go inside to say more time, but inshallah in our own time, we can come anytime and go inside. Now very important so you cannot confuse, there is a few steps going down where you can see a cave. Yeah. They say that cave, this is where Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took his Mi'raj. Again, according to our ulama, we don't know that if it was from inside or from outside. And there is no exist the hair or feet print for our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam inside. But we know, the only thing we know that our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he took his Mi'raj when these beautiful domes, as you look at it, subhanallah, till he reached Sidratul Muntaha, inshallah. So inshallah, we're going to go to Al-Burat more right now. Alhamdulillah, bro. One of the most blessed lands in the world, man. Best land, man. Amazing. Alhamdulillah. You see, this place, man, subhanAllah. Like I was saying, yeah. this is where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. SubhanAllah. Salaamu Alaikum. You're right. Okay. Like a thief, when I finish, uh, before they take me to jail, because I uh, opened this, they told me this is not for you, for, for the Jews, but Alhamdulillah, I mean, we stay here. When I am finished, they asked me to take 24 million dollars to leave this shop. They want to take it for him, but never, alhamdulillah, bami. Uh, we make this place like Bak Islami. All you partner with us here, alhamdulillah, bami. Everywhere Muslim, they partner with us, alhamdulillah, bami. Also, we have hit down seven tunnel. Take me to the Aqsa, take me to Burak, take, take me to Kanisa to Qiyama, take me to all the under city. Mashallah. This place, not for me, for all the Muslims. Sorry. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. The Jews, they have a dream not to take this place, to take all the old city. But never. We born here. Yeah. We wish to die here, inshallah. 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 Sibani Tunnel, Al Haram al Sharif, Ha'at al Buraq, under the old city, Knesset al Qiyama. They have a dream to open all the tunnel just from the Jews. But we said, inshallah, Rabbi, I mean, we even open all this from the Muslim, all the Muslim, inshallah. I have after this wall, the white wall. I make the wall. After this wall, I have more 60 meters. Amen. We now to our cousin quarter. So this is the Jewish quarters. To the Holy Sepulchre Church. I'm gonna go to Masjid Umar now. We're gonna see the story, inshallah. Okay, my brother, next, inshallah, we will go straight to Masjid. Bismillah. Where? Where is the war, man? 
Oh, Louis, he's got the keys to the mosque. <laughs> Subhanallah. Allah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah, this is where Hazrat Umar prayed Salah. We will hear the story properly from the Sheikh later on. Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Again, to cut our short story short, because we have a limited with the time between Maghrib and Isha is one hour. So, to reach our Salat and Isha in Aqsa, basically, Umar ibn Khattab anhu was visiting the church, as we showed it to you, and as he was visiting the church, he was offered to pray inside of the church. And Umar ibn Khattab, he refused to pray inside of the church. Reason is that you are telling the priest or whoever you in control that I don't want to pray inside of the church where my people come after I leave this area where we take this excuse and where we take the masjid and remove it, uh, take the church and remove it to church. So basically he walked outside of the church where there is some riwaya did I mention that he walked outside of the church and he did two ruk'ah here. <coughs> Where there are some people saying, in our scholars, he say he never prayed inside here, and he never prayed around this area. In fact, he just walked outside of the church, and when the priest followed him up, he responded <coughs> to the priest that I don't want to pray inside. So when they take, the people take that excuse that I prayed inside of the church, and where did he take the church from you and remove it to masjid? So this is Al Farooq Umar ibn Khattab show us a respect that he was giving for un Muslim as well. In fact, 
if we look at how we treat Indian and Muslim now, we should treat them with the respect to show them that the da'wah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was giving to the entire ummah. And when we have appeared, when we practice in the sunnah, we practice in the sunnah that we should show them how the people they practice in the sunnah, how to begin. So they can love the deen of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is Umar ibn Khattab al Farooq. The story that he doesn't hear is the date of judgment. And as you look, you're going to walk outside and you're going to look towards your right hand side. You're going to see a sign. And the beauty sign on it that is La ilaha illallah Muhammad al Rasul. That there's no way should be in this earth except Allah Azza wa Jal. And the last messenger is our beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So inshallah, I'm going to show you the old section of the masjid. <laughs> Part of the masjid. This is how the masjid used to look like. If you look at the photo, you will see how the masjid used to look like a cave. Okay, my brothers and sisters, now we are here in the last stop. This is called Khanqa as Salahiya. And Khanqa as Salahiya, this is where Salahuddin al Ayyubi he used to stay, where he used to have his khilwa. And basically, below this building, there is a masjid, but the masjid is closed right now. But normally, we come to show you this is the view here, and this is the dome of the Holy Supplica Church as well. <coughs> Mm-hmm. And basically, subhanAllah, when Umar ibn Khattab came, he gives the respect to the Christianity, even though even Salahuddin al Ayyubi, as you are coming here, also you are giving the respect for the Christianity. Mm-hmm. And also, there is Minarat here, this built by Abdul uh, Burhan al Din al Mamluki, which is by the Mamluki time. And in though all the area here is all Christian people, but subhanAllah, the Adan still go all the time. Of Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah up till today, subhanAllah. This is our last things in our trip, inshaAllah, my brother.